Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Tax Laws video. Today Apple has released the red versions of the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus. No red iPhone 10 version is out there and I don't think that there will be one. Uh, after exactly six months, so we are now in the middle between the iPhone refresh circle, Apple is boosting sales with a new red color. We had the same game last year with the iPhone 7. So I went to the Apple store and got a red iPhone 8. This is a 64 gigabyte version, so only the basic model. On the box, of course, again, you see the red iPhone. This is an iPhone 8 in the black color. And the case, or the, the cover is exactly the same. The, uh, the picture of the iPhone 8 is exactly the same size as a normal iPhone. On the red version, we got uh, uh, the iPhone uh, letters in red. We got a ap red Apple logo. And, uh, but everything else is exactly the same. You don't get any special features with a red iPhone. No, it's only red. So let's open up the box and we see a slight change here because of this red piece of paper, this is new and this is just the product red flyer. So where Apple tells you what product red products do. Uh, we get the same, exactly the same paperwork, no special pictures of red iPhones here. And no, you don't get red stickers with your red Apple iPhone. I know this is sad. You only get the normal standard white uh, stickers. So what else is in the box? Do you get with the red iPhone a red, <laughs> a red charger and red headphones? No, you get, get the same uh, the same five watt charger, USB Type A, normal uh, USB port. You get white headset, you get a white adapter, USB, uh, no, <laughs> lightning to your normal headphone. And you get exactly the same white lightning cable. This is a little bit sad. I would have wished for uh, a red update. So, and if you compare both devices, the red version, the black version, exactly the same size, exactly the same weight, and again, exactly the same features, only that it's now red. Uh, we got one change from last year because last year we got a white front and a, a red backside and around 80% said why why Apple why didn't you bring us a black front this year Apple brought us a black uh, black front so exactly the same black front as on the black device but yes you still can see from the front view that you got a red iphone because from if you're looking directly from the front you can s still see the buttons and you see enough of the red frame nothing on the fingerprint sensor sensor here like like on the ipads where you can also see the color no but ex again if you uh, look from the front you still see the red and this is a nice dark red because this time we got the glass cover the glass backside this gives the red a darker color the frame or the sides are aluminium a little bit more shiny and the battery stripes are again another red tone so you get exactly three different types of red on the red iphone 8. so now we boosted uh, we, we started we do a quick a really quick setup tour and have a quick look around so the on off button is on the side and now let me show you something because this, this is a neat little detail because the sim card tray slot uh, uh, is the whole way red through and through this is nice so sim card um, chip down and then we just slide it back in so there we go ready to go no sim card installed now it detects the sim card so let's choose the language english country germany you can choose now between quick start and set up manually select your wi-fi and enter your password read about data and privacy set up touch id create a passcode then choose apps and data and I say set up as a new iPhone because I want to see how much free storage I got. Enter your Apple ID and password. Agree to the terms and conditions. Enable location services. Decide if you want to share iPhone analytics with Apple or don't. Have a quick look on how the display will look like if you disable the True Tone feature. You can do this later in the settings. Choose how the home button should feel like, like slightly, medium or strong. Decide if you want to use the display zoom feature or if the display should look normal and you are done. 
On the iPhone itself, there are no Apple Office apps installed, so no papers, no keynote, no numbers. You can install them as well, of course, and no iLife apps like iMovie GarageBand. And we have a quick look on how much free storage this we still got. In the settings, general, you see the iPhone storage. And there you can see it, out of the 64 gigabytes, there are only 4.8 gigabytes used. And this is a fantastic number. Apple is doing a really, really nice things. A uh, quick look on about phone. There you can see uh, the iOS version is 11.3. And if you want to disable uh, the True Tone feature, just hit get back into settings and then display and brightness. And there you can, uh, you can deactivate the True Tone feature. And I don't really like it because it always reminds me of the Night Shift feature where you can uh, use it to, to that you see less blue colors so if you just want to enable it there you can see it's again it looks similarly but it's not the same the true tone feature is that the colors will always look the same on the display so never uh, the, nevertheless houses your surrounding lightning conditions are uh, if you're on the beach if you're at home if it's dark if you've got a lot of light or not much light red or in other colors uh, the iphone will always try that red will always look the same so if you need to work with the device if you really need to see accurate colors then think about true tone on every other thing i would recommend to deactivate it because it's you can save some uh, battery life with that so now and if you're asking me if there are any other differences between the black iphone and the red iphone no there aren't camera performance everything is exactly the same even the weight dimensions and length everything only the color is here the difference and uh, now let me get something we heard a lot about the huawei p20 pro and p20 with the twilight colors and just for a comparison so these are the colors everyone is talking right now about so you've got the twilight and so you've got the red iphone and now that you can see a white device as well I'm just switching to record the rest of this video with the Huawei device and now you can see every color. So you get the white, you get the red and so you get the black version. And I really have to say that I like the white and the red version the most because the black version does not really look like black. It's more like a dark gray. Uh, but what you can see here, the red version is definitely something to look at. But this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.